A Nintendo Direct is upon us! This Direct will take place on September 23rd, 2021 and give us 40 minutes of information focused mainly on Nintendo Switch games launching this winter. And as far as this winter goes, that typically means announcements for January, February, and March for Nintendo. We're looking at a pretty busy holiday season as far as Nintendo releases go too, so I don't think many of these new announcements will fall between now and the end of the year, but there are a huge amount of rumors that have been brewing the past few months. So I'm going to be covering what we know, what is yet to get a date, and many of the rumors we've been hearing. I'll be giving my predictions on what I think will pop up, and if any of these things we've seen are true. So let's get into it. As far as Nintendo's upcoming releases, we have a lot on the way. There's Metroid Dread, Mario Party Superstars, Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, Big Brain Academy, Advance Wars 1 and 2, and Pokemon Legends Arceus. Nintendo has been really letting loose on Metroid Dread info, so I don't think it'll get more than a quick mention during this Direct. Mario Party Superstars, on the other hand, does kind of need some more information out there. We don't know too much since it was first announced at E3, but I'm ready to see a new trailer for this game. I do not think that Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are going to make an appearance here, even though they're huge releases. Pokemon Company tends to handle all of their marketing, so I don't think they're going to leave it up to Nintendo to put another trailer in or even talk about the game very much. Big Brain Academy and Advance Wars 1 and 2 are coming in December, and while I'm very excited for both of these games, I just don't think they're going to have the pull for Nintendo at this Direct. I think they'll be stuck into a sizzle reel or something just to see it quickly pass by on screen, but as for those games, I just don't think we're going to see very much of them. Pokemon Legends Arceus will probably get skipped over just like Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, and really, I expect Nintendo to just be tweeting about that game as well as Pokemon Company, so we'll probably see things about Legends Arceus on Twitter, but not in this Direct. So this gets us to the games that have been announced but have yet to have a date, and as you've probably noticed, we're focusing on Nintendo here, so let's go through those really quickly. The first is the port of Fatal Frame from the Wii U. I fully expect this one to get a date, and it would make sense for it to be around October or Halloween since it is a scary game. From here, we've got some of the bigger announcements from Nintendo, and that includes Splatoon 3, the Breath of the Wild sequel, Mario plus Rabbids 2, and of course, Metroid Prime 4. While I think it's kind of a long shot for any of these to appear, I do think one of them has to. From this group, I think the most likely to appear is Mario & Rabbids 2 or Splatoon 3. I think Splatoon 3 would be a huge release for Nintendo in March specifically. The game will probably follow a similar formula as Splatoon 1 and 2, meaning we'll probably get a few maps at the beginning, but it'll all get built out over time, including new weapons, new modes, and new things for the game in general. This gets us to the major rumors that are floating around for Nintendo right now. The first is the rumor that Game Boy and Nintendo 64 games are coming to the Switch Online program. As unbelievable as it sounds, this is one that I actually think will happen. There's some solid evidence out there that Nintendo is about to unveil a new controller, and it's very likely that it is going to be a Nintendo 64 controller for the Switch. To me, it seems like the controller is going to be very much like the wireless NES and Super NES controllers that we've gotten in the past. The next huge rumor going around is that Monolith is going to announce something related to Xenoblade. While I think it's definitely more likely that they will announce something Xenoblade, I selfishly want a Bat and Kato's remake. I think the most likely outcome here is that it is a port of Xenoblade Chronicles X from the Wii U. Nintendo is really running low on ports at the moment, and this is one of the only games that hasn't made its way over from the Wii U to the Switch. I think that makes this rumor a strong contender to appear at this Direct. The next big rumor is that Brewster is going to be making their way into Animal Crossing New Horizons. Unfortunately, I don't think this is going to be an announcement in this Nintendo Direct. The current update for New Horizons has content that spans through mid-November. Because of that, I think it's a little bit too early to be hearing about the update for New Horizons. I think it's more likely that Nintendo tweet about it around mid-November to let us know there's an update. The next few rumors are a lot less concrete, so I don't necessarily think they're going to happen. The first of these is a Donkey Kong game is on the way. I think it's 
possible, but I just don't think it's going to be something that's announced in this direct. The next one is also a Kirby game. Kirby games, I feel, come out frequently enough, so it's also something that's believable, but once again, I just don't see Nintendo announcing this quite so early. Finally, my favorite of these three rumors, there is a Fire Emblem remake on the way. Once again, I don't quite think this one is going to happen, but I do think it's believable that they're working on a remake. Just please let it be a Radiant Collection. I need Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn on my Switch yesterday. So that covers everything that's been on the calendar, what has yet to get a date, and some of the existing rumors that we've heard. So I think it's time I talk about two other predictions that we haven't quite covered yet. The first is obviously the Smash reveal. I think it's safe to assume that the final Smash character will be announced at this Direct. I have two guesses as to who it will be and one that I would want it to be. I think it's most likely going to be Waluigi or Sora from Kingdom Hearts. For some reason, ending with a Waluigi reveal just sounds hilarious to me, and I wouldn't actually mind a wacky character like that in the roster. Personally though, I would want the final character to be Tom Nook. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan, and as of right now, I think he's the best representative for the series at the moment. I also think him training for Smash is a good excuse as to why we haven't gotten updates in New Horizons. My final prediction is focused on the one more thing. I feel like it just isn't a direct without a one more thing type of announcement. While we know some major games are on the docket for Nintendo, I think this announcement is going to be a reveal for a long anticipated title. I believe it is finally time for Nintendo to reveal Mario Kart 9. This is a prediction, dream, and desire that pops up absolutely everywhere, and while I've kept out of it, I'm finally throwing my hat in the ring. I finally think it's time for the new game, and here are my reasons. For one, I do believe the rumors that Nintendo is working on a Donkey Kong game. The rumor is also that the Mario team is handling that game. While I'm sure they always have people working on 3D Mario, I do think a big part of the Mario team probably has their hands tied at the moment with Donkey Kong. Second, Mario is Nintendo's biggest star. I'm sure that at any given time they are working on a Mario game, and I happen to think that Mario Kart 9 is that game. I don't know, perhaps it's wishful thinking, but for some reason, my Nintendo senses are going off right now and they are screaming Mario Kart. Anyways, let me know what you would all like to see announced in the comments. Do you agree with my views on any of these things making it into the direct? Am I out of my mind to think Mario Kart 9 is getting announced? Be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll talk to you all next time. Bye!